Here I have TP-Link Defos Wi-Fi L and let me show you how to bypass Google verification on the following phone. So how to remove a factor reset protection. As you can see here I have my device after a hard reset operation and at this point of initializing setup process I have to input my email and my password just to activate my phone. So let me show you how to bypass this step. At first let's active a keyboard and let's type in the random word. Afterwards you have to highlight this word, so let's hold down this word and from the following menu let's choose more key right here and choose assist. Select no thanks and now you can use a Google browser, a Google searcher. So all you have to do is type in Chrome right here, let's tap it, the Chrome apps just pops up. So let's use the Chrome, you have to choose accept and continue and no thanks. And now you can use a Chrome searcher. So you have to type in the following text. So let's search test. DPC. As simple as that, let's choose search in that corner. The device is looking for any results. Let me change my, my results to English and let's use the first link which is test dbc 2.0.6 right here, let's tap it. The following website should pop up and now let's scroll down to find download apk right here, let's tap it. As you can see right here your download is starting, let's wait a couple of seconds. Choose update permissions, tap allow to access Chrome, photos, media and files on your device, tap ok to the following warning. And now you can open your app by using that information so let's tap open if nothing happens you can go back and find your app in downloads folder so let's go back a couple of times let's choose assist one more time and let's type in here downloads. As you can see the downloads just pops up, let's use this folder. Here you have our app, so let's tap it. Settings, install settings blocked, so let's choose settings of installation. Here we have the security settings, let's scroll down and let me enable unknown sources right here. By using this switcher, read the warning and tap OK. Let's go back, tap our app one more time choose install test dpc is installing so you have to wait a couple of seconds let's tap accept tap open here you have to change to setup device owner the second option right here and choose setup tap encrypt and you have to have at least 80% of your battery and then connect your phone to a charger, so let me do it. As you can see now you can choose encrypt phone, so let me tap it a couple of times. The device is encrypting, let's wait. Excellent, as you can see the welcome panel just pops up. You can disconnect your phone from a charger. Let's go for the initializing setup process, let's tap next. Skip inserting SIM cards. Now let's tap setup, the following screen should pops up, so let's choose setup, tap ok. As you 
you can see the app is setting the device owner so that's what we need let's wait a couple of seconds choose setup phone one more time and when the following screen appears one more time on your device so hold down power key for a few seconds and choose reboot as simple as that now let's wait a few seconds Excellent, let's unlock the screen, choose skip to the following information and let's tap next, tap finish and as you can see now you can use your device but some of the apps are disabled so all you have to do is choose settings, scroll down to personal tab and choose backup and reset right here, select factory data reset, read the information about process and choose reset phone. Tap erase everything to confirm the whole operation and now the device is performing factory reset operation so let's just wait a few seconds, maybe a few minutes. Excellent, now you have to go through the initializing setup process one more time. Let's choose next to the, to the welcome panel. Let me skip inserting SIM cards. You can skip also adding a Wi-Fi, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let me choose skip anyway. Let's tap next to date and time options and to owner the settings. Let me go back, let me don't protect my phone this time and choose skip, tap skip anyway, scroll down, choose next and as you may see right now the device is in normal mode, you can use your phone, you just erase the factory rest protection. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.